we are going to have to paste uh, a code right on our upper blade remember the rest of this thing the rest of each page for instance the edit page extends the app dot layout page so which means the rest of this content is inside the app uh, the blade layout page so if we go to our resources views and we'll go to the layout folder and we'll click on app dot blade we'll see the content this is where the rest of the page for instance the rest of the edit dot blade dot php page will be pasted inside here so I'll write above that or somewhere here I would like to put um, this code so I'm just going to remove this just going to remove this so this code calls two types of classes which is the errors or two files which is the errors and the success so the files are supposed to be in the partials folder as you can see we've not created a partials folder so what I'm going to do right now is to create a partials folder and create two these two files these two files are the two types of errors that we will be displaying so I'll right click inside the view and a new folder I'll call it partial hit enter then inside partials folder I'll create two new files one error.blade.php one is errors.blade.php and the second will be the success.blade.php so um, let's call it success all right just for fun we just need to confirm that we're all good errors and success all right so inside errors I'll have to paste the error code then inside success I'll paste the success code so we'll start with that of the success so I'll just paste the code remember you can always get this from my github channel in the next video I'll show you my github channel or uh, you can just go to github.com slash Dave Ozalo then you look for P manager look at the name p, p manager this p manager and uh, with that you can be able to find the source code for this project all right so we're good to go and um, this is basically a bootstrap alert uh, template that first of all using the if statement it checks whether there is a success in the flash message that is coming in. if there is a success then it will display it inside this template and uh, get the value and display here that's just it so we'll do the same thing for the error page so i'm selecting this then right click paste then save so as you can see it checks whether there's an error if there's more than one error then of course i display it so um this simply sorts our problem so if there is an error if we're passing a message that contains an error then to display at the top the reason why we are doing it here uh, the reason why we pasted these two here at the top of the rest of the content is so that it will simply appear at the top of our page if there's an error the error message should pop up at the top of the page so what we're gonna do now is to actually test the code we've written so far remember that we wrote the edit page uh, the edit code to edit a company the person will click a submit button and the submit button will take the person to this route companies update so if we go to the, the company's controller, company's controller here, on the update section of it, we will see that we've written a code that is supposed to take whatever content that is in the form, save it on the database. If the saving was successful, then it should just uh, from here on uh, redirect to the show page, all right? If not, it will redirect with this successful message. If not, it will just redirect. All right, so we're good to go. And I'm going to, um, I just want to quickly mention that this is the most, this is not the most uh, fail-proof way to write this code. There could be other checks you could do, like validation and a whole lot of things that are outside the scope of this function. We just want to get things working, okay? So we're just going to go and um, try and test out what we've written so far so if we just go we'll click on edit and um, it it's real it's opening right now you may not see the the icon but it's opening so we're right there and uh the name of the company is Berkshire Hathaway and uh, this is the description so what do we change uh we can just make
just edit something Berkshire Hathaway too and that's it so I'm gonna click on submit and um, it's loading as you can see right here and it worked perfectly all right so um, I believe this is enough for this video we will walk into the next video and uh, try and sort out other things